in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With the Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Michael the Archangel, with the Blessed Apostles Peter and Paul, and all the saints, we confidently undertake to repulse the attacks and the seeds of the devil. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As hope is driven, as wax melts before the fire, so the wicked shall perish in the presence of God. Behold the cross of the Lord, flee bands of enemies. May your mercy, Lord, descend upon us. Great is our hope in you. O Saint Michael, be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, bind into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We drive you from us, whoever you may be, unclean spirits, all satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies, and sects, in the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, may you be snatched away and driven from the church of God and from the souls made after the image and likeness of God and redeemed with the precious blood of the divine Lamb. Most cunning servant, you shall no more dare to deceive the human race, persecute the church, or remember God's elect and sift them as we. Most High God commands you, He whom in your great insolence you still claim to be equal, who will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, that the Father commands you, He to save our souls, humbled Himself, becoming obedient even unto them, declared that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church, because he will dwell with her all the days, even to the end of the world. The sacred sight of the cross commands you, as does the power of the mysteries of the Christian faith. The glorious Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, commands you, she who by her humility and from the first moment of her immaculate conception crushed your proud head. The faith of the holy apostles Peter and Paul and the other apostles commands you. The blood of the martyrs and the pious intercession of all the saints command you. Thus, cursed brother, and you, diabolical legions, we adjure you by the living God, by the true God, by the holy God, by the God who so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that every soul believing in him might not perish, but might have life everlasting. Stop deceiving human creatures and pouring out to them poison of eternal damnation. Stop harming the church and hindering her liberty. Be gone, Satan, inventor and master of all the sea, enemy of man's salvation, 
Give place to Christ in whom you found none of your works. Give place to the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church acquired by Christ at the price of the blood. Stoop beneath the all powerful hand of God. Tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus. This name which caused hell to tremble. This name to which the virtues, powers, and dominions of heaven are humbly submissive. This name which the cherubim and seraphim praise subsistingly, repeating, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord, the God of our peace. O oh Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come upon you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. God of earth, God of angels, God of archangels, God of patriarchs, God of prophets, God of apostles, God of martyrs, God of confessors, God the virgins, God who has power to give life after death and rest after birth, because there is no other God than Thee, and there can be no other, for Thou art the Creator of all things, visible and invisible, of whose reign there shall be no end. We humbly prostrate ourselves before Thy glorious Majesty, and we beseech Thee to deliver us through Thy power from all the tyranny of the infernal spirits, from their snares, their lies, and their furious wickedness. They no more to grant us a powerful protection and to keep us safe and sound. We beseech Thee through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. From the snares of the dead, deliver us, O Lord, that your church may serve you in peace and liberty. We beseech you, hear us, that you may crush down all the enemies of your church. We beseech you, hear us. Almighty God, we beg you to keep the evil spirit from molesting this servant of yours, and to keep him away, never to return at your command, O Lord, with the goodness and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, take possession of this person. May we no longer fear any evil, since the Lord is with us, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.